So yesterday, I was listening to the soundtrack of Sing Street, one of my favorite movies. Hold up. And besides the songs by the main cast, Sing Street, and contemporary artists for the movie, like Motorhead, Duran Duran, The Cure, there are a couple songs by modern artists, cover, cover, bleh, covers of songs done originally by the, by the cast. One of them is a song by Adam Levine that has actually been taken off for some reason. And then the other two are Drive It Like You Stole It by Hudson Thames and Up by The Score. For the past six years, I've been watching this movie and like listening to the score once or twice a year. And two days ago, when I was on the bus from Zagreb to Vienna, I decided to listen to the score again. And usually I skip through the the final songs, the sort of pop covers that they do, you know, the ones that play during the credits. But this time I decided to listen through the whole thing. You know, usually I just listen to the cast recordings, but I also listen to Rio and uh, pop music and like that, those songs. And I get to the end and I get to Up by The Score. And I go, The Score. See, this whole time, for however long I've been listening, I always thought that the score meant that it was just music from the movie, you know, the soundtrack, the score. But this time I decided to click on the score because I was like, is it just going to take me back to the soundtrack page? I don't know. And I get to this, the score. Apparently it's a band and apparently this band has five million monthly listeners and their top song has over 250 million streams and i listen to their top couple of songs and i have never heard this band in my life so i decided to do some digging and what do you do when you want to learn about something you go to reddit obviously so i type in the score reddit and the top result is not the score subreddit themselves. It is a post from four years ago titled, Do You Guys Like the Score? on the Imagine Dragons subreddit. The full post goes, Do you guys like the score? I've started to listen to them, and they have a lot of similarities to Imagine Dragon. They are more rock than Imagine Dragons, but do you guys like them? And you can go through all the responses, but the general consensus is that yes, people do like the score, but all their songs kind of sound the same. All their songs sound the same to me. I don't really like their sound. I like the sound, but their songs totally so sound the same. I like a few songs, but a lot of them sound the same. There's no experimentation at all, and I find the latest EP their worst work yet, especially that Believer ripoff called Stronger. Side note, Stronger has 146 million streams. So yeah, that's the basic idea, but I wasn't done yet. I actually found the score subreddit, like the one for the actual band, and... This band with, as I said, over 5 million streams a month has 624 members on their subreddit. And as of recording this, the most recent post is a discussion page posted four days ago, and then six days, and then 18 days. Each one of these gets between about zero to five comments and no more than 10 likes or thumbs up. I don't talk to people about Reddit. I don't know what to call these things. And one of the most recent posts is somebody asking, where are they? I decay if this is the right place to ask, but has anyone heard about what they're doing? It's been quiet, and the last thing I found was an Instagram post from New Year's. Okay, so that actually brings up something that I haven't thought about before. Let's look at their Instagram. The score. So this fits like a popular band a little bit more than their Reddit. They have 133,000 followers, so that more, that more fits what I would expect from a band of this size. But yeah, the last post that they did was December 31st, 2022. Each post gets a couple thousand likes, which I feel like makes sense. I don't go on Instagram that much and I don't follow any like really big accounts, so I don't know what the ratio should be between followers and likes. Okay, now I think it fits. I went on the Peach Pit account, um, which has 258,000 followers, and they get 9,000 likes, 17,000 likes, 7,000 likes, 16,000 likes. But anyways, I'm interested in, you know, what they are. So I found this page on the Score subreddit. It is from two years ago. It is by user ogravity412, and it is called The Unintentionally Mysterious History of the Band. At first, I thought it was about the band, but... But no. So it looks like they started in 2011, but didn't actually make the name, the score, until 2012, 2013. 
And it looks like they were reasonably successful pretty quickly. They did some live shows. I like this. Here it says that they start to pursue the athletic motivational pop rock they're known for. That is actually funny because I found another post that just described the score as workout music. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just funny that it's sort of become like their genre. Here, wait, this is something that I actually didn't read before. In addition to this material, the soundtrack for the film Sing Street featured the score song Up, which was originally performed by the fictional band in the movie. Okay, yeah, so, so yeah, that was 2016. And... And while I'm going through this, I don't mean to say that they're bad. You know, they're not poor musicians. They're not bad singers. They're very good. It's just, it's just weird. It feels, it's just odd. This band that makes like very, what would I call it? Uninsulting music also then has like no fan base. And it's just confusing for me. It's just weird. It's just like, how have I never heard of this? And maybe I'm living under a rock. If you've heard of them, then like, please let me know. But from their subreddit from like their social media it feels they're just kind of like non-existent oh so here's something a year before they signed republic records they do an ad with Az asda asda uh, a supermarket in england which makes me wonder, like, what are these guys' accent? Let's look up an interview. Really just the worst name for SEO. Okay, here's a video from three years ago. Go backstage the score. I like to stay in, we were in tour this summer, all over Europe and China, and we stayed in Amsterdam. And I understand why now there's so many songs named after that city. So I would like to stay in Amsterdam longer than I would. I'd also go to Europe, honestly. Amsterdam is dope. I'd love to do Barcelona. We have yet to do that, and I think it would be amazing. Okay, I don't know what I was expecting. They're dudes from New York. So at the end of this, I'm a little lost. You know, what did we learn? What did we find out? Did we discover anything? And really, you know, what was I expecting? Was I expecting to find out that they were actually paid actors? Like, I don't know. They're just like some dudes. I keep saying that they feel like a fake band or they feel like they were created. Of course, of course they weren't. They're just, they're dudes who make inoffensive pop music. And like, there's nothing wrong with that. If they're your favorite band in the world, that's totally fine. I just found it so odd coming across this group that goes on world tours and has millions of streams every month, but seemingly has like no amount of actual like brand recognition or whatever. Like, let's see if I type in the score cover. Okay, there's a video from three years ago by Jared Haley, Halley, uh, covering Legend, one of their biggest songs, you know, doing the thing where everybody's like in the squares, and then Revolution. Okay, they're like, they're like a couple. They're a couple that have like, that have like a couple thousand listens, have a couple thousand views on YouTube. Let's find a band that is technically smaller. Let's go back to Spotify, Our Evil Overlords. Okay. Let's go to one of my favorite bands and the one that I looked up to compare Instagram, Peach Pit. They have two million streams a month, so it's about half. But let's look up Peach Pit covers. Okay, yeah, these videos don't get like a crazy amount of views I'm seeing. What you can see more is, at least the conclusion that I'm getting from this, is how many covers there are. And it's not just like the big songs, it's like, it's like everything. Yeah, like, who decides to do a cover of Hot Knifer? Oh, and like, here's Cave Town doing a cover of Shampoo Bottles. So it's like, there's like a, at least what I can see is there's a, a sort of artist community. What did we learn? Very little.